Hey guys, welcome back to the Phantom Pain S rank walkthrough. This is the 31st mission. It's Salanthropus. I'm pretty sure I cannot pronounce that properly. But uh, this is not going to be very hard to S rank. Really, the challenge is just beating the boss itself. Uh, I chose to use a in my loadout a grenade launcher and a rocket launcher exclusively. Now he's got a couple weak points. His stomach when it's glowing, uh, and there's also going to be some white piping hanging from it, the front of him. Uh, as well as the back, you can see the, the white tubes back there. Uh, those are his more vulnerable points where you're going to do the most damage. Now what I do is I s start off with the grenade launcher, and if you fire all of the rounds immediately, you're going to get a, a supply drop. In fact, the supply drops in, during this mission will happen automatically because you got your hands full. You're not going to have time to call in the drop yourself. So you can see it's actually one's already fallen from the sky. So then I'm going to just switch to the rocket launcher, and I'm really going to try to primarily do most of my damage here with the rocket launcher. It does do more. The grenade will help, um, but really you're going to do more damage, especially if you can hit the weak points behind him or when his stomach is kind of glowing there in the center of his body. Now he's going to hammer you with all sorts of attacks, uh, a barrage of missiles, uh, and then later in the fight uh, he's going to uh, jump up and go retreat a couple hundred meters away in back and he's going to try to hit you with a really long range laser that is going to be a one hit kill to you so when he does get to that point you're going to want to try to close in on his distance and use the cliff side uh, to block him from being able to hit you so the biggest challenge i found is just trying to stay on my feet he does he does hit you and you'll probably get hit throughout this fight once or twice, knock you over. Uh, and if he does at this point in this stage, um, he's not going to one hit kill you, but he can, uh, if he gets successive uh, attacks off on you, you could be in trouble. So I'm just trying to keep moving. Uh, that is another kind of key component to this. Uh, I'm sure there's probably some spot that someone found on the internet somewhere where you can just kind of camp out and he can't hit you. So if that's possible, um, I don't know, but uh, I do find it pretty successful to, uh, to kind of keep moving around. Now there, there is going to be at the very end of this uh, a floating boy that's going to kind of come out at you, and you can get bonus points actually if you do hit him. Now again, the S rank isn't going to really be an issue. It's just you know completing this fight because you're going to get bonus points for perfect stealth and everything. All right, so at this point he's going to uh, he's right here. He's going to kind of jump away shortly. And when he's kind of stunned, uh, it's a good time to uh, get behind him and to hit him with whatever you have currently equipped. Again, preferably a explosive device. Now you can see he jumped uh, really far away and he's going to, um, after dispatching uh, my friendly support helicopter, he's going to turn his attention to me with that kind of blue-white laser beam thing. And that is what's going to one-hit kill you. So I'm just going to kind of hide behind this clip side. Now his location during your battle might be different. He can uh, go to several different points. It depends on where he's located when he decides to do the jump away. So I'm firing my rounds and I'm coming back and reloading, waiting for him to do an attack and do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. I mean overall it's kind of nice that we had, a, I guess, a pseudo boss fight. There's not a lot of boss fights in uh, this game, but it was kind of nice to break in the action from a lot of the uh, similar missions that we keep getting over and over. So at this point I also have no ammo, so I'm again going to the supply drop. Total time on this, by the way, was four minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, you're not gonna get, the, you're gonna get the bonus points again for perfect stealth, no combat alerts, no reflex, and uh, no kills as well, so. Again, it, it's don't really t worry too much about your time. As long as you're, I, I mean, I'd say you're probably safe even under 10 minutes, so if this fight takes you 10 minutes, you're probably going to be dead long before that. Alright, so you got the slow motion po point here. This is where the floating boy is going to come out. I used the uh, rocket launcher, probably could have switched to the pistol or something. Now at this point, I'm just going to keep firing away. I'm not really concerned about weak points. If I can hit it, great. If not, I just need to keep putting rounds on them. Even if you don't hit his weak point, you'll still do damage against them. Just not nearly as much. Got a clear shot of his stomach there. Yeah, 
And there you go. Now in an essence of time, uh, there's going to be a series of uh, cutscenes. Uh, you skip one, it'll skip you right into another one. So just keep uh, skipping them until you get to the uh, result screen. Again, I'm not a fan, and I mentioned this in the early part, of having the option to skip a cutscene only to take you into another cutscene that, you uh, that you'd want to skip. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this was the 31st mission. And uh, please, of course, like, comment, and subscribe.